Is the real estate bubble about to burst again? Well, I did a whiteboard video on this the other day, and pretty much the conclusion that I came to is, uh, you know, they, they can raise interest rates high enough to where it decreases demand enough to where even though we're in very short supply, prices still go down in nominal terms. But the question is where, at what point? And uh, again, if I had to venture a guess, I think the two-year treasury is telling you it's going to be around 2%. And uh, so I don't think the real estate bubble will burst until they raise rates high enough. And I think that line in the sand could be around 2%, just to reiterate. So that's kind of uh, what I'm looking for. That's kind of my base case, if you will. Now, the real estate market can definitely go down in real terms. And uh, depending on what you think the real rate of inflation is in your area, and what home prices did in your area, you know, you could have lost purchasing power last year, even though meaning that the price of your house would have gone down in real terms, um, you know, depending on, again, where you live and the, the local rate of inflation and how high or how much the nominal price of homes increased. But uh, so that isn't uh, as predicated upon the Fed raising rates to break the stock market or the economy. Will gas stimmy make inflation rocket higher? Yeah, of course. <laughs> it's, listen, you, you can't. These politicians are, are just. They have to know what they're doing will make things worse. They're not that stupid. So why are they doing it? What this tells you is that the politicians are are basically acknowledging that they will do whatever it takes to get reelected, even if they know damn well it will make things worse. Any politicians that comes out, whether it's Trudeau, whether it's Newsom, whether it's Biden, whoever it is, and says, oh, well, we're going to solve the problem of inflation by giving you more money. That is them just announcing that they don't care about you, they don't care about the poor, they don't care about the middle class. They know damn well that what they're doing is going to make the economy far worse and it's going to make people suffer even more, but they're more than willing to do it because they think that's the best opportunity they have to be reelected or to further their political career, usurp power control. Because they, they can't be stupid enough to think that a problem of consumer price inflation is a lack of money. The, the, the problem of consumer price inflation or the, 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 the issue is a lack of supply. That, that, that's how you fix an inflation problem. You create additional supply. You don't create additional money or create additional currency, additional dollars. You know that that it's it's can said it in the simplest terms. I can say it: a price inflation issue problem is not a result of too little money. It's a result of too little stuff. And it's a third grader knows that. And so, again, this is just the politicians telling you that uh, they're, they're happy to destroy the economy. They're happy to destroy the poor and middle class if it means they've got a, a slightly greater chance of being reelected. elected